Hello everyone, my name is Harshil and today I am going to start a new series called Programming Concepts with Shishab. In this series, I am going to share some of my knowledge about programming concepts and Shishab language. So it will be easier for you to understand both of them at the same time. So without wasting time, let's begin today's video. So today I'm going to give you some overview about these topics. You can see highlighted topics. I'm going to sh give you overview on the on those topics. So first topic is software. So some of you have question about uh, which software we are going to use and from where you can download it. So the software is Visual Studio and uh, I'm you can download it from this website. It is official website and link is in the description. So go and check it out. Uh, if you are new student or a beginner for programming, uh, you should go with community version because it is free for everyone and gives you a lots of features. But uh, I'm going to use enterprise version. Uh, if you can't afford enterprise, uh, you should go with the community because it is free. I'm again telling you go with community version if you can't afford enterprise version. It is free for everyone. All right, to download it from here, click on this and you, it will be downloaded automatically. Then install it. You will need some of important uh, packages. You need to install those and you will get to go for your first program in C Sharp. All right, let's move ahead. So the second topic is basics. Uh, in this topic, we are going to learn some structure and syntaxes about uh, uh, important things like libraries, namespaces, classes, methods, and access specifiers. Uh, moreover, we're gonna learn in about we're gonna learn about comments and data types and all but uh, in today's video we are going to cover only these things i'm going to just give you some overview about this because these are important topics and if you are beginner you want to uh, understand for the first time so i'm just go going to give you over uh, overview about this and we will see see these topics in detail uh, in future videos. So till then, just keep in mind that these topics, how you can write these topics and how, uh, what is the importance of these topics. All right. So if you have installed your Visual Studio, just uh, open it and you will see this UI over here for the first time when you will start your visual studio uh, i have here some of my projects i have built so uh, you won't get this for the first time so don't worry about it just create a new project from here and you will see the packages over here that you have installed as per your requirement uh, if you want specific packages then and select your language as you can see i'm selecting c sharp and it will show me only sh packages that i have installed with c sharp which is supported by c sharp so but you don't want to uh, use each and every one every uh, packages in this series i'm just going to use console app all right as you can see here here console application just select it and click on next. Now here you have to set up your project. For example, your project name. I'm in our case, I'm going to give it test one. From here, you have to select the location where you wanna save your project. I don't wanna change any location, so I'm not changing it. Here is a solution name. 
सॉल्यूशन नेम फिर एज यू कैन सी सॉल्यूशन इज अ कंटेनर फॉर वन और मोर प्रोजेक्ट्स इन विजुअल स्टूडियो सो दिस इज अ सॉल्यूशन नेम जस्ट व्हेन यू डन विथ योर सेटअप्स जस्ट क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट all right so once you have created a project you will see this file over here you can see this it is a basic structure of c sharp or any programming language uh, which supports object oriented programming like c sharp so the first thing is uh, using means this is our library let me give you the structured information this is our library all right we we going to use this library in our program this is namespace this line called namespace in namespace this line called a uh, class all right you have to use classes in inside namespaces and inside the class you need to define methods we have almost covered these topics this is library namespace class and method these four topics we have already covered like uh, this is just uh, information uh, method class namespace and library the most important thing i want to say that uh, each and every program has a starting point and need to have a starting point so in our case we have main method it is a starting point of our program if you remove it your program will want uh, your program won't run it will give you error all right <clears throat> so be careful about it you can't have multiple main methods all right in a single program so be careful about it now let's start with libraries all right so what is library library is a collection of program that is used frequently and it is pre compiled or you can say uh, pre developed it is also called a namespace all right if i uh built this uh, program in my folder then i can use the code inside this program like means uh, if i uh create a method over here uh um let's see addition then uh, this addition method i can use in my future programs just by using this namespace like uh, using test1 as you can see i can use this uh library means name space name space now uh, whichever code or program i have written in this test 1 i can use it in my future programs all right name space name space is a collection of uh, interfaces and classes uh, we will see those Uh, interfaces in a future videos but uh, let's talk about classes all right uh, classes what is class class is a collection of objects means uh, you can define different objects uh, means entities in a class you can define it like for example a mobile phone or uh uh 
ball pen or books anything you like you can define it inside this class now let's talk about uh, methods methods are collection of uh, multiple statements where you can write your different logics for example if you want to build a calculator in c sharp then uh, you can create multiple methods for different operations like uh, one method for addition one method for subtraction one for multiplication and one for uh, division and use all those methods in your uh, main program to build a calculator all right now access specifiers are uh, there are four types of access specifier one is default second one is public then private and protected these are not important for now but uh, when we will do inheritance the topic there is a topic called inheritance as you can see here uh, you're gonna need these access specifiers over there inheritance and uh, interfaces you're gonna learn that access specifiers over there all right so that's it for today's video if you have any qu questions or queries uh, let me know in the comment section i will try my best to give you the answer as soon as possible all right thanks for watching